Welcome to our channel box office release let's start the video now Pixar is like it tells a coming of age fantasy story set in the picture perfect summer paradise that is Porto Rosso, a small town along the Italian Riviera. Directed by Enrico Casarosa, a storyboard artist who makes his debut with the film, Luca is not just a looker, it is also a funny, entertaining, and deeply emotional story about friendship and acceptance. Luca is a sea monster who lives in the depths of the sea with his parents and grandmother. He has always dreamt of exploring the world above the surface, fascinated by motorboats gliding on the water. His mother's warning about what humans would do if they saw his true form, however, keeps him reluctant. Astonished to witness such a transformation and the breathtaking life on the land, Luca along with Alberto explores the never-ending adventures of human life. Alberto reveals to him some of the facts and happenings of life outside the sea, though some prove wrong later such as twinkling stars in the sky are fishes. They both dream of owning a Vespa to travel around the world. And then one day, Luca's parents come to know about his mischievous adventure. They decide to send him with Uncle Lugo to the deep sea. Perturbed by their decision, Luca runs away with Alberto to the nearby fictional Italian town Porto Rosso, where they meet Julia Marco Valdo, a young red-haired zealous girl who befriends them. She teams up with Luca and Alberto for the famous Italian triathlon to fetch the Posta Rosso Cup, which has been consecutively won by Nefarious Ercoli Visconti. The triathlon comprises swimming, pasta eating, and cycling. Hence, begins another spell of thrill and adventure. Please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for latest update about all series and upcoming movies. Mo from Striamo News has informed the Dis Insider that Disney Plus has sent out a survey regarding Luca. It contains three questions that hint at a possible sequel. One of the questions also suggests that the potential second installment might look for a theatrical release. Take a look at the survey questions below. Have you heard of the Disney Plus original movie Luca? To the best of your knowledge, how likely would each household member below be to watch another movie involving the characters and world of Luca if it became available? If Luca had been available to see in a normal and safe theatrical environment, how interested would you have been to see Luca in the cinema? There is currently no official announcement about the Luca sequel. Disney sending out a survey is also not unusual, however, asking for another project in the world of Luca shows their interest. The movie has earned rave responses from the viewers as they praise its story, design, animation, and more. Luca also has a few positive highlights. There is an affectionate portrayal of a colorful friendship between Luca and Alberto. And the name of the titular character may have been an intentional nod to director Luca Good at Nino and Call Me By Your Name, which forms another beautiful subtext of the film. Luca's sincere small boy wonder works in the first half as he rides on the wave of new possibilities. Alberto too is hopeful here about the dreams concerning their life on land. In this way, the movie offers a slow burn of a thrill throughout. But the change of everyone's heart towards the climax is so quick in preceding all anticipation that every conflict resolves itself and the movie ends even before we know it. It is this same core philosophy at its heart as Wolf Children, which is about the self-discovery and the essence of personal identity, but without the magic of onward, deliverance of soul, or the warmth of Coco. Thank you for watching the video till the end for more box office movie, web series, reviews, news, and update please visit our website www.boxofficerelease.com and if you like our video, hit the like button and share it with your friends to stay updated please subscribe to our channel box office release.